Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is for a good friend of mine called Joe aka The Horror Man. If you are not subscribed to him I'll be leaving his channel link in the description box below. One of my best friends on here so go and subscribe to him please because he is awesome and a really really great guy to talk to and he makes some amazing videos. So um, Joe is really really a big fan of Danielle Harris and is currently trying to get all of her movies that she starred in and stuff like that. I am a fan of her, um, you know I think she's a great actress and well done to her because she has had a very very successful career and um, you know she's still involved with filming both acting and um, you know she's all she's also directed a movie that's coming out later this year so I'm going to talk about that later on in the video I don't own too many movies that she's starred in but I just wanted to basically do this fun little video for Joe and uh, yeah so let's get started so we're going to start with Don't Tell Mum the Babysitter's Dead um, this is the very first movie that I ever saw with her in it um, she plays one of the kids and you know this is a great fun movie uh, definitely not one of her more well-known roles but yeah a very very good one um, probably one that people have no idea she was ever in is Free Willy uh, this is a childhood favorite of mine I can remember seeing this in theater and um, yeah, to be completely honest, I forgot she was in it until Joe mentioned it the other day. Uh, she's only in it for a very brief time. She plays one of um, Jesse's street kid friends at the beginning of the film. Um, the next one, which is another one that I don't really hear too many people talk about when they talk about Danielle Harris, and that is Urban Legend. Uh, she was in this movie. Uh, one of her more recent roles was in Hatchet 2. Uh, this is probably my favourite modern slasher. Uh, she did an absolutely terrific job in this. Uh, great performance. And this is an outstanding movie. Uh, the next one is probably one of her most underrated horror movies. And that is Blood Knight, The Legend of Mary Hatchet. Very, very good movie. Um, pretty cliché in terms of a slasher um, but still really really good and uh, there's some pretty nice gore and uh, kill scenes in it so well worth checking out and uh, the movie that pretty much started her career or at least in horror is Halloween 4 The Return of Michael Myers um, I've talked about this movie enough I don't really need to go on about it um, she was absolutely fantastic in this. And uh, then we have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. In my opinion, um, she's the main reason I like this movie. Again, very, very good performance from her. And then she was also in the two Rob Zombie films, um, Halloween which I personally like and Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 you guys know my opinions on the movie um, but she was pretty much my favorite character um, so yeah that is just my uh, Danielle Harris movie collection right there I'm um, not quite as big as yours Joe but I just felt like showing it plus I wanted to give you a shout out Plus, I wanted to mention um, three horror movies that are involving her that I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard that Hatchet 3 is in production and she is returning um, yet again for Hatchet 3. So, cannot wait for that. Really, really looking forward to it. Uh, she's directed a horror movie that's due out this year called Among Friends. Um, it's a slasher style movie centered around a group of friends partying at a dinner party uh, that looks pretty good I'll be leaving the trailer for that in the description box below 
uh, the movie that I am most anticipating um, stars Danielle Harris and it is called um, Hollow's Eve and that looks absolutely phenomenal um, again it looks like a slasher style movie about a young girl who got disfigured when she was little and she basically uh, seeks revenge on those people involved that gave her a hard time uh, that looks really really good the trailer looks absolutely amazing um, that's shaping up really really good so I can't wait for that I'll be leaving that trailer in the description box as well so uh, thanks for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure you go and subscribe to the horror man aka Joe and I'll see you later